One of the questions raised by the remains in Flores is how and when hominins first arrived there. The island of Flora is east of Java, quite distant in the Indonesian archipelago, a long ways from the continental mainland of Southeast Asia. How these small-brained, small-bodied hominins first and when they first arrived on Flores is an open question. Flores is in fact far enough removed in the Indonesian archipelago that at no point in the Pleistocene would it have been within eyesight of the mainland of Southeast Asia, which means to get to Flores you need to cross open water. This is quite a cognitive challenge, we think, for early hominins. The ability to openly navigate across open water is something that we associate with modernity, something we associate with modern capabilities. So understanding how and why this happened is important. So the first step to understanding that process is to recognize that ocean levels today are not necessarily constant and have changed throughout the Pleistocene past. During periods of peak glaciation, the amount of water sucked up into those glaciers dramatically lowered sea levels. So parts of the Indonesian archipelago, for example, the island of Java, where we know we have fossil remains going back to early Homo erectus, was at various points in the Pleistocene part of mainland Southeast Asia. This wasn't the case with Flores, however. Flores was always an isol island isolated from others. So how did they get there? It doesn't necessarily take an explanation that requires these small-brained hominins to be very smart. Natural conditions can also displace organisms onto island or peripheral locations. Events like tsunamis and hurricanes and storms can actually displace or move what we refer to as rafting of organisms to these island locations. The recent earthquake and tsunami associated with Fukushima, Japan, actually has led to a number of Asian species arriving on the shores of the Pacific Northwest in the United States, a natural example of this process in action. So even if the hominins at Flores arrived there very early, maybe even in the middle Pleistocene, it doesn't mean they had to do through, through their own ingenuity. It might have been simply natural events which led to them being on this island and becoming isolated, perhaps for 500 or 600 or even almost a million years.